Hello everyone, welcome to this quick informational video about CyberCTR and some of the changes that have been made. Uh, recently in 1.1.3 we added the ability to um, create a preference override for CyberCTR so uh, a user can place the export of preferences in the slash browser folder of the Cyberfox directory and apply a preset um, that overrides any other preset and this gave it the ability so that one could distribute Cyberfox across the network and apply the same preset of customization so basically the browser will have the same look and feel across each browser over the, the uh, network so let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to first we're going to add the uh, customized preset, the uh, CTI preferences.txt, to the browser directory. Now, for this directory, um, it could be in C program files, or if you have the 32 bit program uh, version installed, C program files x86, or if you're using the portable. It'll be uh, subfox portable slash app slash subfox and then slash browser. Um, or if you're using the zip format like this one in this demonstration, it's just the uh, the zip format and the browser folder. So now let's apply. We're just going to start it up. Starting it for the first time. You'll see a notification. Uh, CyberCTR preference has been found. Select restart to apply. This message will keep popping up and until you restart to apply it will not apply this configuration. Um, this is to prevent uh, a change to the configuration that you did not want and um, it's also to prevent you uh, from losing your current preset that you have uh, set up just in case uh, you didn't want to lose it. So you're going to click restart and it's going to restart. As you can see it's applied the preset with the application button that wraps around icon and uh, favicon in the URL bar now if a user was to say uh, change this file so we'll um, change the preset and uh, go back to the browser you will notice an additional pop-up will appear telling you that the uh, the file has been modified. Now there's a few features coming to this but at the current uh, only has the one which is the restart to enable. It will have a backup feature where it backs up your current um, preset so in case uh, you don't want this this change you'll be able to select the uh, restore from here and it will restore your previous configuration and remove this file that it's detecting. But here we're just going to restart restart the browser and it's going to apply that preset and basically it's going to use this preset until it detects a changed configuration file where it will prompt to, would you like to change that file. It's always best to back up your, your preset um, your presets that way um, if you uh, accidentally override it or delete it you've always got a backup so that's the the new uh, feature that has been uh, modified a bit further it's going to have further features and this is going to roll out in version 1.14 um, we also have added a couple of additional button colors um, so now if you have the application button enabled Ah, wrong section. Where am I putting it? Title bar. There we go. We have um, a dark orange button now. We can have a dark orange application button, as well as a salmon color button, like we've used in this tutorial. Um, thank you. I hope you find this information useful. Um, if you want to distribute um, or update this file here, um, you can easily just update this file and uh, all you usually got to do is click the, the uh, apply button when the notification appears. Um, you can basically package this by grabbing our source code and the installer 
um, install script to create an installer and you could actually package the uh, preset into the installer so that way um, you can just basically run the installer every time on your computer and have the same same preset but uh, you'd have to modify the installation media every time for every update um, I hope uh, this information was helpful and uh, look forward to hearing your feedback thank you have a good day or evening